शिक्षा यूट्यूब चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और नए अपडेट्स के लिए बेल आइकन पर क्लिक करें So what aspects should one consider while selecting a B school? There are several good B schools in this country. Now while you go and make a choice of selecting a B school to pursue your MBA, there are some few important aspects that you'll have to consider. First and foremost is the brand value that the B school carries with itself. So the legacy that the B school has plays a very important role because that brand will rub off on that individual and will remain with that person for his life as he graduates of that particular B school after he completes his MBA his or her MBA program so that is one of the most important aspects second is the peer learning that will be possible the kind of peers that he or she will get while he or she is going to pursue an MBA from that particular B school is also one another important factor to be considered the third most important factor is the kind of B school competitions that are opening up in that specific B school. There are several corporate competitions that are open to a select few B schools in this country. Although you have, I mean, thousands of B schools that are there in India, but these corporates are very choosy when it comes to opening up their corporate competitions to specific set of B schools, and only possibly a dozen or. Uh, a little more than a dozen are the schools which are chosen by corporates when they launch corporate competitions which gives opportunities for students to work on live uh, scenarios that are provided to them second is the kind of experience that they get while solving those kind of live scenarios that are given which gives them a ppo that is the pre placement offers or a ppi a pre placement interview chance along with good amount of cash prize that is won by them while they pursue their mba program so these are a few things that uh, students should actually definitely take it into take into consideration while they choose a specific B school while they opt to pursue an MBA program. Startups and becoming an entrepreneur is uh, something considered cool now. That's something good. But in spite of it, not many actually take up this particular route of creating their own startup or becoming an entrepreneur. If you look at statistics, less than 5% of students who actually pursue an MBA program aspire to become entrepreneurs. And that data has not changed over the past decade or so. But there are a few B schools in this country which actually focus and ensure that the ecosystem is provided for someone to take an entrepreneurial plunge. Now, SAPM Pune is one of such B schools which offers an MBA program in innovation and entrepreneurship. The focus of this program is completely to help students create their own startups. There are a few of them who are from a family managed business setup who want to innovate something in their own family business setup and possibly kickstart a venture are also ones who aspire to get into this particular program. Very few B schools in India actually have focused program in ensuring students or enabling students create their own startup or help them take an entrepreneurial plunge. So if students are interested in creating their own startup, then looking out for a program of this kind will be of great value to them. Not many B schools are looking at this from a core perspective. There are B schools which offer subjects related to entrepreneurship as an elective but not as a core program so there are very few b schools in this country and sibm pune is one among them which offers a two-year full-time mba in innovation and entrepreneurship where all aspects of the program are focusing to create startups to help entrepreneurs take the entrepreneurial journey so that's about mba in innovation entrepreneurship and the entrepreneurship a uh, program that SABM Pune runs. We offer three full-time MBA programs that uh, students can aspire to join. The MBA flagship program where students can 
uh, take specialization in marketing, finance, operations and HR. The second one, which is an MBA innovation entrepreneurship program. The third program, which we are starting from the academic year 2020 is an MBA leadership and strategy program. The entrance to all these three programs remains SNAP. So SNAP becomes the entry criteria. There are a few changes that the SNAP exam has brought, which aspirants can go to snaptest.org and look out for the changes that have been made to this year's SNAP. But SNAP becomes the gateway for all the three programs. For the third program, which is especially MBA Leadership and Strategy program, a minimum four years work experience is needed as on 30th May 2020 for someone to be eligible to get into this program. Post which we have a group exercise personal interview process that is post SNAP. Uh, we call it a GE PIVAT process. A combined score of SNAP and the GE PIVAT is taken, a merit list is prepared and students are given admission based on merit. So these are the process steps, SNAP followed by GE PIVAT are the process steps to be followed for all the three programs, the MBA program offering specialization in marketing, finance, operations, HR. The second one, MBA innovation entrepreneurship program. And the third one, MBA leadership and strategy program. I'd like to emphasize about the third program, which we are starting now. So the third program where we expect students to have necessarily four year work experience. The pedagogy is a little different when compared to the other two programs where we are focusing 70% of the curricula to have case orientation. And who's who in the industry is going to come and teach courses in this program. While we have stalwarts coming in from the industry who handle specific sessions for the other two programs, here in this program, we have the curriculum being taught by the CXO level people, which means they're going to teach courses, which becomes a partner of parcel of my MBA leadership and strategy program. And it's a new campus that we have created here in Lovely, which is a new facility that has been created for this program, where the program is going to be offered in that specific facility. We call it Sandeepani, which is the leadership training center. So that's about the third program. So for the MBA flagship program and MBA leadership strategy program, we provide placement assistance. And for the MBA innovation entrepreneurship program, the focus is not placements, but creating their own startup and hence all that is required as support to create their own startup or innovate something in their existing business will be given so that the objective is to make them create their own startups. So that's about the objective of all the three programs that we have. Will MBA be relevant? in years to come is one question that's always asked. So for MBA to remain relevant, there should be a lot of change that is brought in the curriculum and the orientation of the program. So that's what we consistently do at SIBM Pune. The kind of courses that's been brought in, the changes that we have brought in, ensures that the changes that's happening in the industry is reflected clearly in the curriculum. So we just don't say we have a great connect where students who are passing out are industry ready. We go a step beyond and we say they are industry ready and industry leading. What would the industry need, say four years from now, is something which we prepare them for. The risk taking up appetite, the ability to think creatively, the ability to lead teams is definitely not going to die away irrespective of whatever trends that's going to come up. But yes, the trends of industry 4.0 is affecting every uh, vertical of the industry that is there. So that being the case, we have brought in changes and I'm sure many B schools are doing this, that the curriculum is uh, changed as per the requirements of the future as well as the current requirements of the industry. So if this is consistently done, MBA will remain relevant. Also, making experiential learning one of the mandatory components of MBA. We have made it, we have made sure that students just don't know, uh, uh, learn no uh, component, we call it the knowing being and doing component where we say the no component. They just don't really uh, stop there. They understand being is a part of case orientation that we give and doing is a part of the experiential learning that happens. The students who get into this program, be it all the three programs that we have, 
we emphasize and focus so that MBA curriculum which is designed is definitely adding value while they go through this two-year program that they have. So for B schools to remain relevant, they have to reinvent themselves. If that is not done, then MBA will not be relevant at all, possibly four, five years from now. Hence, we take it very seriously to revamp our curriculum, to make changes, to ensure that the students are knowing that's needed uh, for them to survive and possibly not only survive, possibly climb up the corporate ladder faster for them to achieve something big in the future to come. So how can I uh, ensure I get qualified and join an MBA or an MBA Innovation Entrepreneurship or an MBA Leadership Strategy Program at SABM Pune? So as I've already shared, the gateway remains SNAP. Preparing well to ensure that you crack SNAP is the fundamental stuff to get into this uh, process. The second is the GE Pivot process. Ensuring that students are preparing well for the second step and then uh, doing it well remains the key component because it's going to be the SNAP, 50% weightage and 50% weightage for the GE Pivot. Over the period of time, I see it's not only engineers who are cracking. Yes, engineers become one of those major uh, segment of students who join these programs. But it's not only uh, engineering. We have students from the art stream, from the commerce stream. Uh, some uh, students who have completed that their MBBS, BDS, CA are also pursuing program, which is an MBA program here. But yes, I would say about 60 to 65 percent to 70 percent approximately are the students who are engineers who end up joining the program. But we don't give any specific weightage for the graduation degree. So that uh, being the case, it's all about how good you are when it comes to cracking the SNAP exam. So that becomes the first step. So we, we, we see that it was only engineering students, majority about 80 percent of them. And over the past uh, four five years, I would say, from the 80% mark of engineering students, it has come down uh, by about 15-20%, where we have uh, students from other streams who are also making it into this program. right? So that's been the trend of who joined this program. But SNAP becomes the gateway, applying for SNAP and applying for the program of uh, the students or the aspirants choice, whether it's the MBA program, which offers marketing finance option and uh, HR specialization, or an MBA innovation entrepreneurship program that we offer, or an MBA leadership and strategy program. So the student has to apply for SNAP and also apply for these three as per his or her choice to uh, get an admission at SABM Pune, provided they clear all the steps that are there in between the exam and the final admission. So uh, that's been the trend. I thought that will be of use to you if I'm going to share about the trend as far as who joined this program and how's the trend been. I hope you find that useful and all the best for your SNAP exam and hope I will be seeing some of you here at SABM Pune in one of those programs that we have. All the best to all of you.